We work with local shark tournaments in the Northeast, and these are tournaments where recreational fishermen will go out and catch the shark, they'll release a lot of sharks in the process, and they'll bring in the largest one shark for a tournament, for a contest. And we go and we'll go to the captain's meeting the night before, give out tags, and then the next day we'll be on the dock and examine the fish that come in. We'll monitor sizes and sexes and actually open the fish up, look at the reproduction stage, the food habits, and collect backbones for our study. It's a unique opportunity for us to be able to look at the fish they bring in, interact with the recreational fishermen. Uh, we learn a lot from them, a localized knowledge of what's going on, what's being caught. There's a lot of things that will change out there. A certain year, some more makos or blue sharks might be more abundant. And for us, it's a, it's a really good opportunity to actually be on the scene and talk with these people. They learn from us. We bring identification material, regulations. So for us, it's a win-win situation. So there'll be a, a catch boat, a chase boat, that'll be out in a certain area. And if someone brings in a fish that is a good size to put a satellite tag, a tracking tag on it, the chase boat will go over, insert the tag, and we'll let the fish go. The angler who catches the fish gets to name the shark, and then it'll be tracked on a website. And we can follow these individual sharks now throughout their next uh, three or four years of their life. Some of the most exciting things that come from a program like this is we can get the migrations of the fish. If you get a lot of tags in a lot of areas, you can really say a lot about where a shark goes over its life cycle. Blue sharks that have been tagged off of our coast have been recaptured over 4,000 miles away in the South Atlantic, which is very exciting and very important to find out for a species like the blue shark.